Assalamualaikum and good morning. Um, good afternoon. Sorry. So I just nak uh, recap balik apa yang kita belajar last class. So we start with reinforcement. So this one I created a tutorial. I already shared um, <coughs> the recorded um, call or conference call recorded lecture lecture macam itulah. Um, inside the Google Classroom um, dah ada link. So you can just um, click on the link and it will, it will lead to YouTube lah. Video the one that uh, I upload. Okay. Um, so that one is according to class. Alright. Um, so here, I nak recap balik yang kita belajar last week during tutorial class. Um, kita belajar about reinforcement, what is um, the properties of reinforcement. Uh, and then we have <coughs> okay basis of design um, the limit state which is which are ULS and SLS we also learn about the material properties and also loadings um, the beam sections okay okay here we have the concrete and reinforcement the prop uh, the the strength here easy for you to refer and then type of loads we have um, that impose and wind load a formula to calculate the ultimate design load ultimate design moment um, to calculate the limit uh, for singly reinforced concrete beam um, we also calculate the value of k and z in order to calculate the area of steel which is this one, this this uh, formula. And we also look at uh, the table of cross-section of round bars. Okay. Um, how to get uh, apa? number of bars and how to actually tulis macam mana cara kita nak uh, identify the what kind of bar, berapa biji and so on eh. <clears throat> and I already uh, told you that uh, what is R and what is Y here. Okay, so next. Another thing yang I lupa before I forgot. If in in any case, kalau kata kan, you tak ada this table. Okay. So actually, <laughs> you can get the the area daripada... Uh, diameter bar ni sebenarnya bar size ni is actually uh, the diameter of the um, the diameter of the bar okay <coughs> for example if you want to calculate uh, one number of bar size size 12 okay you just uh, tekan dekat calculator you Okay, so size 12 meaning diameter dia 12 lah. Okay, so the diameter is 12. So diameter kita tulis macam ni ya. Eh. Bulat and slash. Okay, so that is diameter. Uh, the formula is area equal to pi r square. So ini area bulatan punya area kan. So pi darab, so radius dia 6 lah half of 12 mm so you akan dapat value dia sekejap ya 113.097 so actually this value <coughs> sama je macam kat sini Okay, 113. So, this one dia make it simple. Dia letak 113. But, it is the area of the round area of the reinforcement bar. Okay, cross section area dia lah. So, inilah 113. So, kalau katakan you perlukan 11, 11 numbers of bar. Tak ada kan? Dekat dalam you punya cross section area ni tak ada. Sampai 10 je dia bagi. Okay, you boleh calculate sebenarnya kalau satu adalah 113. Okay, kalau 12, sorry, yes. Kalau 11, okay, satu adalah 113. Okay, kalau 12, 
Sorry, 12 lagi. Kalau 11, you darab langgan 11. Sebab you ada 11 area yang, 11 biji area yang sama. So, of course lah. Uh, <coughs> untuk 1, 113. Untuk 11 akan jadi 1243. Sebab you darab jadi 11. Okay, sama juga kalau you tengok sini. Okay, two numbers. You ambil je 113, you darab 2. You dapat 226. You nak 3. 113 darab 3. You dapat 339. So, sama je. Okay. And it applies to all bar size. Okay. Uh, it, it, it is the calculation of the area of the cross section of the bar. Ikut diameter dia berapa. So, you akan dapat lah value area dia. Eh. Okay. Before I forgot, saya so akan bagi tahu you tu. Okay. And then, okay, I also already covered that part. Okay, here we have the minimum spacing of reinforcement. <coughs> As what I told you before. Okay, area ni, kita tak boleh letak air, um, bar yang besar-besar ataupun kita letak terlampau banyak number of bar. Kata kalau kita tak sampai 6 kat bawah ni. And then you expect that when you pour concrete, pour concrete boleh masuk in between this bar. Okay. Tak ada eh. It can't be like that. Okay. <coughs> so, kita takkan buat dia jadi macam ni lah. Tak dapat eh. Because of this clause which is 3.12.11.1. Okay. This clause already mentioned that the horizontal... If you look at here, the horizontal distance between the bar should not less than H aggregate, meaning um, nah, apa? size of aggregate lah. Okay, H aggregate, the H, AGG ni kecil lah. Okay, H aggregate maksudnya size of aggregate plus 5 mm. Okay, and normally uh, maximum size of aggregate to construct uh, or produce uh, any structure eh. Contohnya reinforced concrete structure. Norm normally we will use 20 mm as the maximum size. Okay so H aggregate ni adalah maximum size of coarse aggregate. You nampak sini. Okay maximum eh. Normally kita pakai 20 mm. Right, <coughs> so it, it is said that horizontal distance between bar, meaning inilah, ni, apa ni, ni spacing, okay, kita panggil dia spacing, okay, tak boleh rendah daripada 20mm because of uh, maximum size of aggregate lah 20mm plus 5mm, maksudnya tak boleh kecil daripada uh, 25mm lah maksudnya, because 20 plus 5mm, 20mm. Where there are two or more rows, the gap between corresponding bar ni sebenarnya dia in then ke, da ke dalam eh sebenarnya. <laughs> the gap between the correspondent bar in each row should be, be vertically in line. So here you see if kalau ada dua row macam ni. Okay, eh sorry. Ni atas ni. So dia mesti in line. Maksudnya atas bawah. Tak boleh you letak I kena lukis satu-satu so that you faham. You tak letak bar tu macam ni. Satu, dua, tiga. You pun letak, rasa nak letak sini, nak letak sini. Tak boleh. Must be in line. Okay, so here kena padam. Cannot put it like this. It must be sama. Okay, in line. Alright. <coughs> And the vertical distance between bar should not be less than two... Uh, H A G G divide by 3 meaning to say 2 darab 20 mm for example eh maximum eh and then you divide by 3 kira lah berapa so itulah uh, distance between bar ni ok distance dia ni berapa ni kecil ni kecil kena on ok <coughs> berapa so itu adalah dia punya vertical distance ok note that ok ini dia explain sahaja apa benda yang apa maksud dengan HAGG tu ok 
Okay, another thing that it says so here, this clause also state that if the bar size exceed HAGG plus 5 mm, the spacing should not be less than the bar size. Okay, so here again, okay, to get the spacing, untuk horizontal spacing, eh, meaning between bar ni, berapa ni spacing ni, ini yang paling penting sebenarnya. Okay, berapa? Okay, you must make sure that the spacing ni, Okay, must be less than, senang cerita macam ni lah, HAGG, maksudnya 20mm plus 5mm, okay, if let's say bar you adalah 20mm, 25mm, sebab dia masih lagi sama kan, because ni like 20mm plus 5mm, so dia, you akan dapat 5mm kan, so meaning kalau bar size you, I tunjuk balik eh, okay, ini yang bar size yang available kat market eh, Tak ada size lain. Tak ada size 13. Tak ada size 21. Tak ada. Okay. Size ni ikut inilah. Okay, okay. So you tengok 20, 25. There is 32 and 40. Bigger size. Bigger bigger size. Maksudnya diameter lebih besar. So kalau you compare here. It's 20 mm plus 5 mm jadi 25. Tapi kalau katakan you pakai bar size 32 atau 40. Okay, which is bigger. So, you can compare dengan bar size instead. Okay, bukannya HAGG plus 5. Okay, ini kalau bar size you size 20mm, 16, um, 12. Okay, size dia lebih rendah daripada 25mm. Okay, I hope you understand. Tak apa kita buat latihan, kita faham lah. Okay. Um, the above spacing ensure that the concrete can be properly compacted around the reinforcement. Spacing of top bars in B should be also permit for insertion of vibrator. So that is the reason because you nak masuk vibrator masuk bawah ni. Tak cukup, tak dapat masuk vibrator. So you punya concrete akan menyebabkan mungkin ada honeycomb. Okay, uh, because of um, uneven compaction atas compact betul bawah tak compact so bawah ni nanti bila dia keras you remove reinforcement you remove homework you will see that perhaps sometimes you punya reinforcement ni kan uh, expose tak kena pun concrete kat bawah ni okay so that that's the thing that we don't want to happen eh? <coughs> okay Alright, here is the, uh, okay, I pernah explain sebelum ni, I can, pernah bagi tahu you pasal diameter, sorry, pasal D. Okay, D tu apa? D tu effective depth. I pernah cakap effective depth ni tak sama dengan H. Okay, bukan H. Effective depth ni bukannya total height. Okay, bukannya height daripada top to bottom of, um, the beam. Okay. H here means, uh, sorry, D here adalah effective depth. So what is effective depth? You boleh tengok sini, you nampak ada D. Okay, you nampak ada D. You akan nampak D ni sama mana? Center of the reinforcement. Okay, D sampai situ. So that one for D. And then we have uh, here, you nampak eh, apa benda formula ni. So H ni sebenarnya adalah height. Maksudnya total height. Or we also boleh panggil the depth. But dia bukan effective depth. Okay, so you kena tahulah apa itu effective depth dan apa itu normal depth. Depth biasa, D depth. Uh, bukan D pula, depth biasa bukan D ya. Eh. It is H. So H ni mungkin kita panggil dia... Some might, might also panggil the depth height. Okay. But effective depth adalah D. H ni adalah depth atau height. Okay. So or, um, sometimes the question cakap the total depth of beam is blah 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 blah. Okay. So that's what you have to know. In order for you to find the value of H. So you need the value of D. Okay. Here we have D. D plus half bar. Why half bar? Sebab 
D here, effective def ni sebenarnya dia sampai half of bar sahaja, separuh eh, sampai diameter bar. So that is the calculation of effective def until this part saja sampai um, diameter of bar saja adalah effective def. The other half ni untuk dapatkan h eh, the other half ni we you have to calculate separately, meaning that half bar divide sorry half bar lah meaning diameter of bar divide by 2 because here you have the balance of bar dekat bawah ni separuh lagi eh kat bawah ni and then plus dengan what is this this is diameter prime diameter prime ni prime ni you nampak eh, ada tanda like koma kat atas diameter prime ni adalah diameter link this is diameter prime Okay, <coughs> mungkin you confuse lah benda pula ada link lah apa lah. Okay, um, I can explain dulu. For example, katakan this is uh, uh, the beam. Okay, <coughs> okay, bar you all the way sampai sana lah panjang. Semua ni panjang. Okay, and then you also will have I can tukar color. <coughs> link. Link ni dia akan pusing keliling bar ni. Main bar ni. Keliling. Pusing. Ini link ni dia sampai atas sebenarnya. Okay dia pusing. So link ni all the way dia ada. Tapi dia ada jarak lah. Bukan dekat-dekat-dekat dia duduk eh. Dia ada jarak. Sepanjang bar. Sorry. Sepanjang beam you. So beam you panjang mana so uh, this link ni akan berpusing je ke keliling uh, main bar ni. So ini adalah cross section dia kan. Daripada you potong beam tu you you will nampak keadaan macam ni lah. Okay but <coughs> this is bar and then you have the link around okay all the way up until the end of the uh, length of uh, the beam. You will see this link rounding the main bar. Okay. So this uh, this is how it looks like lah. Okay. <coughs> so that is link. This is the diameter of link. Okay. So uh, this uh, bar prime, diameter prime is the diameter of link. Here also... Uh, you have C. So C here. Okay. Adalah concrete cover. So you nampak kat bawah ni. Kat mana C. C ni concrete cover. Bawah ni misal tak concrete juga. The bar will not be exposed to environment eh. Tam kalau dia tanpa concrete ni bar ni akan berkarat. Okay. Dia akan exposed to the environment. Uh, we, we know that. Um, reinforcement besi dia tak boleh kena air, dia tak boleh kena udara, nanti dia ada this chemical reaction that will cause it to rot and reduce the strength of the steel we need to cover it up dengan concrete lah okay, so must have concrete below here, that's why I already mentioned sebelum ni kena ada enough spacing so that concrete eh, can go below the bar and spread thoroughly dekat area bawah ni. Okay. That's why you need the spacing and all. Sebab ada concrete cover ni. Okay. So for concrete cover. Uh, in the next slide. Okay. So um, here is the situation. For. Um, beam yang. Kalau you nampak kat belakang ni. This is this situation. Okay. Maksudnya hanya satu layer of bar. However, ada juga situation yang you mungkin kena letak dia jadi macam ni. Ataupun jadi macam ni saja. Okay. Here we will discuss here also. I nak bagi tahu macam mana cara kira dia. <coughs> okay. This one lain sikit. <sighs> Penat aku bercakap. To calculate the value of H, we need to know lah 
kat mana D and such. Alright, so uh, I lukis dulu. Kat mana I nak lukis? I lukis sini lah. <laughs> we have uh, the main bar. Okay, for example, you have two layer, same size bar. And then, uh, I have to change the color. Okay, we also have the link around this. Okay, um, sorry, it's so ugly. <laughs> <coughs> All right, how you do you calculate H? So for this type, the formula is H equal to D plus full bar plus diameter prime, full bar diameter eh, plus diameter prime plus C. So tak ada bagi dua kat sini. Okay, why? Because D going to be up until this level. Okay, D ni dia sampai sini. In between. Sebab sebelum ni, kalau you tengok, D dekat sini, dia sampai diameter bar. Maksudnya betul-betul dekat tengah-tengah bar. Sama juga dengan kat sini sebenarnya. Sebenarnya because of, dia mesti berada, sebab diameter ni adalah diameter yang sama. So, dia mesti berada betul-betul dekat tengah-tengah bar. Okay. So, uh, diameter ni dia duduk dekat tengah-tengah bar. Dia bukan dekat diameter atas ni eh. Dia dekat in between bar yang you stack tu. Okay, you stack bar like this. It will be in between that. Okay, we have D. And then here, we have full bar. Sorry, full bar, bukan bar prime. Full bar diameter. And we have bar, uh, uh, diameter prime, which is diameter of the link. And next, we uh, last kali kita ada concrete cover eh. This is how we calculate um, the effective depth for this type of um, beam. Bila kita stack bar tu. Bar tu bukan satu layer. Dia jadi dua, dua layer. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, there is many situation lah macam ni. Sebab kita kenapa kita buat dia ada macam ni. Because we need enough spacing. Okay. Tapi kita perlukan bar yang banyak. Ataupun bar saiz besar. Jadi kita tak cukup spacing. Okay. Tak. So kita kena stack dia jadi macam ni. You punya beam akan jadi lebih panjang. Okay. That's it. Alright. Next. We going to move to the concrete cover. So concrete cover. Hmm. I malas nak cerita pada panjang. Here we have. Um. In what conditions sepatutnya kita kena letak concrete cover ni. So for example here we have like petunjuk dia lah. Kita panggil dia mild. Concrete is protected against weather moderate. Uh, severe rain and such. Okay. We have like a few uh, conditions. Exposure con conditions eh. Ataupun situations lah. Macam mana kita nak uh, design kita punya beam. Depends pada uh, climate kawasan tu. Okay, kalau satu jenis tropical area macam kita So ada different dia tak sama dengan kawasan Yang mungkin berada dekat Antartika <laughs> Okay <coughs> Okay so lain-lain tempat lain lah Ataupun mungkin um, Kawasan yang mungkin berdekatan dengan laut Kawasan yang mungkin Berada atas gunung So it's a different exposure we have eh? <coughs> Okay um, Here we have like uh, beberapa conditions lah. Um, mild, severe, moderate. So, ini semua ambil daripada British Standard. Okay. So, ini adalah nominal cover tu tadi yang concrete cover yang kita cerita kat belakang ni. Ha, ni dia. So, this is macam mana you nak tahu berapa value C ni. Okay. Kita tengok pada table ini lah. Okay. Uh, here we have like Lowest grade of concrete. Kalau C30, we must use like 25. C35, we use 20. C40, ini untuk mile eh. I bagi contoh. C40, use 20 and such eh. With notes here. Okay. But normally, what we going to do, normally kita akan pakai 25 mm. Okay. Kita akan pakai 25 mm for mile. Okay. 
um, because on other condition, contohnya like severe, very severe, more severe, <laughs> abrasive ni semua, you boleh baca concrete exposed to abrasive action. Kalau setakat dia jadi beam, dia tak abrasive eh. Dia duduk dekat atas. <laughs> Okay, dia bukan duduk bawah tanah. So, bawah tanah lain cerita. Maksud saya macam foundation and such uh, different. Okay, and then more severe. Concrete frequently exposed to sea water, de-icing salts or corrosive fumes. So, Malaysia kita tak ada uh, de-icing salts and then Corrosive fumes ni kita bukan duduk dekat um, area, uh, Depends lah kalau dekat, dekat area-area industrial macam tu It's a different thing eh And sea water That's why I cakap tadi Kalau katakan duduk dekat tepi pantai macam tu And then very severe So very severe ni sea water Dia asing salt eh? So sama je lah very severe dengan most severe ni Lebih kurang tapi most severe ni lebih tinggi lagi Kenapa dia turun ke bawah macam ni Aduh Okay Cocker exposed to severe rain, alternate wetting and drying or occasional freezing in severe condensation. So in Malaysia, kita tak ada like freezing, that kind of thing, no such thing. Um, mostly for beam, we going to uh, design the as mild lah. Okay. Why mild? <coughs> because mild uh, condition weather kita not that bad. Kita tak ada four season yang mungkin menyebabkan dia ada... Uh, kejap mengeras, kejap beku, kejap <laughs> Kejap beku, kejap sejuk, kejap panas gila Tak sama eh, weather condition kita dengan Our climate, tropical climate um, Is basically lebih uh, Stable ataupun lebih balanced compared to those yang in Four seasons area eh um, That's why uh, we opt to use like mild eh Okay, but depends um, On what elements yang kita nak Construct. So sekarang kita tengah cakap pasal beam So we use 25 Okay, here mild condition uh, With the lowest grade of concrete C30 Okay, so 25 here Alright Oh, I'm going to end this slide here